Alright everyone, welcome back to another Barbecue Bros video. It is a lovely Sunday afternoon. Going to be doing a little cookout with some friends a little bit later on and I wanted to uh, whip up a little appetizer before we get to the the main meal and uh, so what I'm going to be doing today are atomic buffalo turds or more commonly referred to as ABTs and really all it is it's super simple to make doesn't take long at all you basically have jalapeno pepper so you want to try to get the biggest ones you can find and those are going to be stuffed with uh, the little smoky sausages, I like to get the ones that are all beef. They have some ones made out of turkey or kind of a mix, but I think the ones uh, that are just all beef probably taste the best. And then we've got some onion and chive cream cheese. You can use regular, you can use a different kind, it doesn't matter. I think the onion and chive taste really good have a little bit of uh, your favorite barbecue rub. I'm using a, a pecan rub and you don't need much of it. And then we've got some shredded sharp cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and then some bacon. And I just cut this bacon in half and I like to use the thick sliced bacon. I just think it, it uh, you know, just kind of helps it all hold together a little bit better and uh, just tastes better. Hey, I mean, the more bacon the better, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly walk you through how to do a couple of these. It's pretty straightforward. So we'll start with this guy right here. You just want to cut the end off. <clears throat> and then cut this guy straight down the middle. Okay, so you're left with this. You can just, you want to take this middle part out, the seeds and this, you know, this other inside part. There's some tools that kind of help you get the stuff out better that I've seen in some videos. Sometimes I just use my hands or you can just take a spoon like this and go down the edge. You see right there, it's all gone. So that's, you know, I did that with a spoon or just take your finger. Finger doesn't work as good, but you just kind of fold that stuff up off the sides like that and then you just take these guys and rinse them off and there we go so that's all you're looking for right there first thing we're going to do is take some of our cream cheese and you want to use a lot of this get it good and stuff so there you go we'll do this other one Okay, so pretty straightforward there. Now what I like to do is um, just take a little bit of the barbecue rub, you don't need a lot. And I like to go ahead and just put it on now because the rub sticks to the cream cheese, so it's not going to go anywhere. I've seen guys kind of sprinkle it on right at the end, but I like it to just come to direct contact with the cream cheese, so it's there and it's, it's not going to move. Now what we, what we want to do is just take a little bit of this shredded sharp cheddar cheese like this okay again nothing nothing too difficult or tricky here just kinda of push that down in and now we're gonna take one of our little smokies and you can kinda of pull that cheese up the cream cheese if it's moving around too much get this junk out of the way there we go just like that so that's what it looks like. And lastly, I'm just going to take a piece of this bacon and wrap it around. Take a toothpick and just push it all the way through. And there you go. So that's what it looks like. We'll set this guy off to the side. We'll do this one over here. And just wrap it around. 
But if you can get it to come all the way around where you have two layers of the bacon to put the toothpick through, even better. You can go at an angle if you want, it's not a big deal. That one was a lot better than the other one, so that one I only got through one side of the bacon, that one twice, and you can see that's just going to sit there and stay just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and prep all these up. I've got like 15 or 20 of them or so, and then uh, these are going to cook on the kettle for about an hour, hour and a half, and I'll pick back up then to show you how I've got the kettle set up and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, here we go. We're about to get the ABTs on the kettle. This is a rare, um, this is kind of a bronze uh, 22 inch Weber kettle. Uh, this is my buddy Josh's, we're over at his place. These are really hard to find. I mean, you pretty much just can't find them anymore. So. Pretty stoked about cooking on this guy today. So we've got this we've got this set up for some indirect cooking. We've got some charcoals and some wood chips, some hickory wood chips on this side. So all we're gonna do is throw these guys on just like this. And as you can see here, I got a ton of them, but we're just gonna kind of line them up like this and let these guys go for about an hour, hour and a half. So uh, we'll pick back up uh, just about when they're finished and let you see what they're looking like. All right, here we go. It's been about an hour and a half. Go ahead and pop this guy off. Get a little close view. So, you can, so these guys are done. You can see the nice golden brown color. Got some screaming kids in the background. Always a good addition. And um, so this bacon is uh look at that nice crispy brown everything's good and melted so these guys are good that's all you need just about a, a hour hour and a half and we're going to go ahead and tear into these things so thanks for watching and uh, we'll pick back up next time